Hello guys and gals, it's me, Mojo Daddy Mystic, back with my main man, Uncle Ted. And we're gonna finish today's session with the Almond Brothers Band. Yeah. With the uh, album Idle Wild South and the song Midnight Rider. Okay. Now this song is uh, probably one of the m better known songs of uh, the Almond Brothers Band. And I didn't really realize how much of an impact they had. As you can see, I'm wearing a Leonard Skinner shirt. Okay. But uh, you guys, the last Almond Brothers uh, video we did, it was overwhelmingly in favor of them. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying who was better, but right, right, right. Uh, of course, because I'm a big Leonard Skinner right. fan, right, but right, right. Uh, Almond Brothers, like that kind of video kind of opened my eyes and did more research. And okay. they were really, really, uh, they had a more, uh, I guess you could say, reach than Leonard Skinner if that makes sense. Uh, in terms of their blues rock, okay. Um, okay. their southern rock, I think they kind of like, uh, they kind of perfected the genre. Okay. 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 So we're gonna get into Midnight Rider and this was when uh, Dwayne Allman was still around and he gave us this gem. This was right before he passed, tragically. Oh, okay. So are you, are you ready to, I'm ready to, to roll. ride? All right. I'm ready to roll. Let's do it. Midnight Rider. Okay. <laughs> Great, yes. great song. Yes, I've heard Dwayne Allman, man. Yeah. Dwayne Allman tragically lost his life at 24. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, man, he passed away tragically. And that whole band has like oh. a history of yeah. just tragedies, man, yeah. as far as like, um, you know, death and, right. and, and you know, uh, uh, drug abuse. Right. Um, Greg, Greg Allman like struggled for a while with alcoholism mm -hmm. and uh, just like a lot of like, they, they live the rock and roll lifestyle, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, and if, yeah. if you're gonna, if you're gonna do like a, uh, an example of like doing it to the extreme. Yeah. The Almond Brothers being 
oh, really man. lived it, man. Yeah. They lived that life, and uh, sometimes they did it over the edge. Right. And uh, for instance, like the week, the week in 1995, the week that they were inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and he, Greg Allman would hit it really hard in terms of like his drug is um, mm -hmm. drinking. Okay. And that's what made him like. You know, stop like cold turkey, you know, yeah, and yeah, you're, you're yeah. at a point you have to have a come to Jesus moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's when he was like, okay. I pull myself up. Exactly. There. So oh, he, that's what made him you yeah. know, do that. It's supposed to be the biggest, yeah. uh, you know, week week of your life. You know, right. getting inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall right. of Fame right. and, you know, right. you're having these issues. So right. he kicked it, thank God, and he yeah. um, he's still around. That's good. So, but that whole band, you know, Dickie Betts, yeah. uh, the drummer, um, I, mean, I can't place the drummer's name, but right. um, um, I think it's Trucks. Mm -hmm. um, Trucks is the drummer. Right. But th that whole band was really talented. And um, fun fact, both Leonard Skinner mm -hmm. and Allman Brothers Band were based in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, I didn't know that. They came out of Jacksonville, so okay. I guess that's that's where the roots of yeah. Southern Rock are. Yeah. Yeah, man. One of the two, two biggest bands. But let us know your thoughts on Midnight Rider. One of the final um, gems that Dwayne Alden provided us before his tragic passing. Let us know what your thoughts are. My main man on the pitch. Did you oh, enjoy that? I sure did, man. All right, brother. Well, until next week, yeah. we're going to go check out that Elvis movie. Okay. And uh, we'll see you guys later. All right. All right.